So, I found this old Briggs and Stratton edger motor, and uh, I'd like to bring it back to life. The only problem is there's no carburetor. My plan is to use this propane tank. So I'm gonna run a hose from here to here with this. As you can see, I've gotta connect this hose to this carburetor hole. Looks like a good excuse to use the CNC machine. So here's our makeshift adapter. I had to grind this corner off so that it would clear this nut right here for the muffler. And uh, the plan is to attach this and then uh, use a hose clamp to attach the hose from the propane tank. So let's see if this works. Let's see what happens. What I think is happening is that it's trying to start, but a carburetor mixes air and fuel together. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a small hole in this tube here and see if that helps. Attempt number two. Bigger hole. Attempt number three. So that worked. But I'm thinking I'm going to drill a hole through the adapter wall into this opening, the hole here. And I'm going to drill another one from the bottom here. And then I'm going to add an inline valve so I can adjust uh, the airflow. And hopefully we can get this thing running smoothly.
I know, it's a bit over-engineered. Okay, so this is college dropout try number five. Or is it, or is it number four? I don't know, let's do it. I think it got worse. Okay, so I made another hole in the tube. Let's see what happens now. So my pull string crapped out on me, and so, uh, of course, I tried to fix it, and uh, it turned into a big freaking bird's nest. So I'm gonna have to do it the old school way. But hey, I'm not even close to giving up. I really think it's probably a um, an airflow kind of thing. So I've poked a few more holes in the, uh, in the hose, and I'm gonna start it up and then just kind of play around with it and see what happens. determined that you can actually run a small gasoline engine on propane. I need to work out some kinks here with the air and gas flow. I want to make it something reliable. So if you're interested in this project, make sure to hit the subscribe button. And if you like this video, hit the like button and let me know. So my ultimate goal is to uh, see if this thing can take a load and attach it to a bicycle, creating kind of like a propane powered motorcycle of sorts. So if you want to watch all these shenanigans, like I said, make sure to subscribe. But um, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. And uh, I'll see you next time in the Gorilla Shop.